And we've had all these claims about, you know, this is bombing a civilian target. Israel have been saying for a long time, no, this is a Hamas control and command centre underneath Ashifa. Now they have uh, shown that they've got a tunnel 55 metres long, 10 metres deep, very coming out very close uh, to the hospital. They've also got video from the 7th of October, uh, which purports to show, yeah, we cannot verify a lot of this, but purports to show two hostages um, uh, who uh, were taken into Ashifa by armed gunmen uh, on the 7th of October. Uh, we've also got, you know, you know that there are other hospitals that if they were worried about these hostages, which, I, mm, who could possibly have harmed them in the first place, Sam? Uh, maybe they'd be left living their own lives, they wouldn't have needed to go to hospital. But there are at least five hospitals they could have passed on the way, any route in from where the fence was open uh, and torn through by Hamas uh, terrorists. They would have got to somewhere else. They took them to Al-Shifa because Al-Shifa is something Amnesty said many years ago is, is a command and control centre for Hamas. Uh, and yet we are still seeing people like the, the, the usual suspects, shall we say, um, including people like the delightful, lovely Owen Jones, who's been an apologist for Hamas for years, um, defending Hamas, basically, for their, but they're taking injured hostages to, to a hospital, and we should condemn them for this. I mean, this is, this is, I mean, this is now, I think, borderline sick. Yep. It's a sickness, this. We have now reached the Holocaust denial phase yep. about what happened on October 7th, OK? We've got video evidence. We've got tunnels going 10 metres deep, many metres long. Why on earth does a hospital have a tunnel like that? What medical procedure could oh, possibly I mean, Oh, I mean, the, the Royal Free Hospital in London definitely got one. So, you know, guys in St Thomas's, they've all got, they've all got tunnels underneath. Of course they do. It's normal in a hospital. Don't be silly, Sam. We have got to the phase where the evidence is so overwhelming of this massacre, genocide or massacre, that I can only imagine, only imagine that the sole reason to deny what we have seen with our eyes, with our ears, is that Jews don't count. This is it. Well, let's, not, take, not let's, take this, let's take this Owen Jones tweet. This, I just find this absolutely extraordinary. Uh, Israel Foreign Ministry tweeted, you know, breaking. The IDF released CCTV footage from the Shifa hospital with an October the 7th timestamp documenting Hamas terrorists forcibly transporting hostages, a Nepalese civilian and a Thai civilian, through the hospital. They're being like, dragged through. It's Owen Jones... It's not a man I normally bother mentioning because otherwise he is irrelevant. But when people are defending a terrorist organisation the way that he's done, I think it bears calling out. Sorry, what's the claim here exactly, he tweeted. That Al-Shifa hospital is a Hamas command and control centre because injured hostages were taken there for medical treatment. The presence of injured hostages definitely justifies Israel's massacre of the hospital. Case closed. Note, note the sarcastic... Uh, I just find that... Extraordinary. It doesn't matter what evidence Israel produces. There are still people denying that October the 7th that some massacres took place. Luckily, Hamas videoed a lot of it and put it out themselves so we can actually see from their perspective what they actually did. But the willingness of, of useful idiots, useless idiots, useless people who, who frankly are defenders of these terrorists, to, to actually just refuse to accept anything that the Israeli government says. Now, I will say, we cannot verify that. This is what is being claimed. I, well, you know, I, you know, the fog of war, there's a fog of war on both sides. That. But they will take anything that Hamas say absolutely as gospel and anything the Israelis say is, well, well, you know, you can't trust that. One is a democratically elected government and the other is a terrorist organisation. Which one is more likely to be telling the truth? And Owen tries to, and all the rest of them, they try and have it both ways. Yeah. They try and say, oh, well, I condemn these actions, but there's no reason for Israel to, to, to engage in this yeah. massacre, massacre in response. Right, let's just deal with a couple of canards right here, OK? We now know emphatically, explicitly, without any room for doubt, beyond all reasonable doubt, you're convicted in a court that the Hamas terrorist entity uses hospitals, it uses schools, it uses civilian facilities uh, in order to run its, its work. That's no surprise. They boasted about ways. it. That's no surprise in some ways, because otherwise Israel would bomb them. Right, so we know that they're there. Now then Owen says, right, what this terrorist group did, and he says the terrorist, fine, was wrong, but Israel shouldn't overreact. OK, but Owen, you also admit that they're there, right? We yeah. know that they're there. Yeah. So what is Israel meant to do if yeah. it can't go in? Yeah, exactly. Owen's position is that they should just keep turning the other yeah. cheek again and again and again and again, while children and women are raped and murdered in their own homes. I don't want to hear it from him. Absolutely. This is a disgrace. He should be ashamed of himself. But, 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 but imagine if I said the same thing about the other side. I would, you know, I'm shunned from polite society. It'd be outraged. He'd be calling for... It is the, the, 
The double standards are quite extraordinary. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just downright immoral at this point. And let's just call it what it is, a problem with Jewish people.